this setup right because today was a little bit different hi guys how are you sorry i'm late i kept forgetting things today let's be brutally honest um <clears throat> it's so today guys um i have <clears throat> creative juice because that seemed like a good idea at the time <laughs> Uh, it's, it's already been a really long day. I, yeah, it's just been a long day. So I'm not even sure how to handle this today. All I know is we have talked about writing. Bella! Hi, sweetheart. How are you? You know what? Here, let's put things away. And so you can, I don't have your stool back yet. I have a really, I still got wrapping paper from the presents down here, guys. Sorry about that. So today, guys, what are we doing? We're, we're going to be writing. In November is something called the NaNoWriMo. Ro will know what that whole thing means. I can't even remember. It's like a November worldwide, not contest exactly. That's not really what it is. But it's about taking one month of the year and just donating, you know, like focusing, not donating. Um, what's the word? Focusing on writing at any rate. And you can um, download your information to the website. You can send it encrypted if you're afraid somebody's going to steal it. The National Novel Writing Month. Hakun, thank you, sweetie. So it's Nino Rhino. <laughs> That's it, Rhino. We did a whole month holiday just for you. Um, the National Novel Writing Month. And the idea behind it is that you take the month and you, you, you kind of pledge to yourself that you're going to write 50,000 words. Now, 50,000 words is not a novel, but it's a darn good start to one. It's a great outline, and it's a really good place to kind of, you know, continue on a book from there. And um, it, it's, it starts in November, and it's looking like I am going to be sitting somewhere in a flat living on my own for the month of November. And I really, really, really intend to be doing a lot of writing. I've been gathering my writing together. I've got pieces in email. I've got stuff over here. I've got discs over there. And I've been trying to get it onto my laptop. And um, a whole month just for very, very, very tiny rhinos. <laughs> yeah, no rhinos. <laughs> All the tiny rhinos. Where do they come from? <laughs> the whole writing thing in November, it started me thinking about like what I've got to mystery novels first drafts completed that really need a lot of work because first draft really really seriously sucks um nino rimo is just about writing it's not about writing well it's not about grammar it's not about spelling it's not about having anything make sense or, or not making it pretty or usable or publishable it's about writing down the story get the bones in you can make it pretty later. You can put some flesh on it, build some muscle, and dress it nice, right? You just get the bones down on the story. And um, so I've got the two novels, the two mystery novels. I have kind of a um, semi-biographical sort of thing that's a big chunk in the, along the way. I have a bunch of fantasy stuff. I have some erotica that I've written in the past. I have things I have wanted to write about West March forever. Um, and I thought, you know, we've talked about it. So, like, why don't we do that? Because you guys can be a part of this, right? You guys can be a part of this. So, this is a song. Now, for the, there, there are some of you who know about West March, my Minecraft server. You know about the previous incarnations of it, the uh, Quillbriar and the district and the lore of you know how things went bad and everybody had had to move and Leckley is the country that started all of it uh, Quillbriar was the world or the the continent on the world Iona and Leckley was my country and it was sort of like the United Kingdom where you know everybody is sort of like together but there's that you know let's face it London is kind of the seat of things right so yeah Ava needs to write a horror novel <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, what do we so Oh, sorry to hear. I do like how Ava kind of just with Guinness in her hand and she talks about spending time with Rhino. Hi, Rhino! <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to practice that one. <laughs> if you're looking for a member of Ava Green Nino Rhino writing group, we should do that. Actually, we should do that. We have so many good writers. Let's just do it. Hakun, we are going to do it. We are going to make an Ava Green NaNoWriMo writing group. I'm hoping that Ro participates, Hakun participates, and anybody else who's interested in being part of this, 
I will set that up. I can probably set that up today. Maybe we can set it up during the stream, guys, and we can just start making this happen. There's a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a traveler's tale. This is an actual song, okay, written for me by Hakun, another one, by the way. Uh, actually, do I have them all on here? If I go down far enough, no. I have, I don't know which one of these are. No, that's, I don't know what, oh, that's, okay, I know what that is. I, yeah, in a minute, is it this one? Yes, yeah, see all of these, this whole document, these are songs, anthems, things that Hakun has written for me for my my West March and, and I for Iona, for Iona. But we're going to start with this one because, oh my God. Now, with his permission, any writers, Arcasi, absolutely. I am not a good writer. I am just simply determined to rewrite it until it's okay. That's my big plan, okay? I'm not a good writer. I, I really am not a good writer. And Alice Dorn, thank you for being here, sweetheart. I really appreciate it that you got to show up. I thank you very much for that. Thank you. And uh, if you want to be part of this writing group, let's do this, okay? Well, oh, God, I'm melting, guys. It's so hot in here. Okay, uh, where's the big fans? I have big fans. Oh, well. And my other fan is now in the bedroom, so it's even worse because you can't breathe in there. Um, yes, Hakun has is put this to music, which hasn't been written out yet. It hasn't been uh, properly, um, like record, you know, like officially recorded and all this stuff. But he he does have what he called a, a rough draft of the song. And with his permission, I am going to let you, actually, I'm going to play it. Will you guys be able to hear it? I wonder if I play it loud enough and I can post, I will put the link in here. If you want to go see it yourself. Down Lackley Road, I bore my way, my and you can read along. aching, my mind a can you hear it? engaged in anxious pondering. My thoughts engulfed in worldly cares, the nettles that the world prepares to pester me while wandering. A crack of thunder, a drop of rain, a storm arose across the plain with the wind so cold and blistery. With skyward curses I hurriedly found shelter under a nearby tree to wait and stew in misery. Yet as I sat I heard a noise as I looked up. There was to my surprise a gypsy woman dancing. Her flowing dress with the raindrops swirled around her while she danced and twirled. A great white horse was prancing. Such folly I had not seen before. I yelled to her to answer for behavior so inscrutable. She stopped, her eyes were full of glee, and with a laugh she said to me, Live life happy and build it beautiful. <laughs> so said a foundation strong and true, a structure with friendship and love in view, and filled with memories and laughter too. Live life happy and build it beautiful. The woman then with a smirk then ran, with one swift motion she grabbed my hand, in a moment we were spinning. Though startled by the speed she'd shown, and slowly soaking to the bone, I could not <laughs> stop from grinning. Oh, I love this. We danced for hours, a grand display, the shower seemed to wash away, my troubles small and mutable. Then in her bardo she did explain the words that she lived by her tireless refrain, a truth that's indisputable. 
Live life happy and build it beautiful. Yes, wolf. <laughs> oh, set a foundation strong and true, a structure with friendship and love in view, and fill it with memories and laughter to live life happy and build it beautiful. At dawn next morn I woke to see that I was sleeping right under the tree, no sign of cart or lady. I took my leave from that magical place, the sun shone bright on my smiling face to see where life would take me. What she had been, a phantom or fay, a dream, a goddess, I cannot say, no explanation suitable. O gypsy woman, whoever you be, I thank you for what you gave to me, a cradle irrefutable. Live life happy and build it beautiful. So set a foundation strong and true, a structure with friendship and love in view, and fill it with memories and laughter to live life happy and build it beautiful. Though times are hard and friends pass on, and not all life's battles will ever be won, and with time our building shall all be gone. The life that we build is what others build on. So live it happy and build it beautiful. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, it makes me cry every time. <laughs> every single time. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So. <laughs> oh, God. So the whole kind of folk thing going on. <coughs> the the story the lore he he never misses anything he never misses anything he's got kel the traveler the white horse of leckley <laughs> he he got the the oh god my brain um the fact that the one picture the one remaining picture in our lore of kel the traveler is of her as a gypsy woman dancing with a long flowing skirt right he just got the whole thing the dancing in the rain and how it just makes you happy to just get out there and do it and and that <sighs> and then that last one which knocks me down this last bit right here and that's what it's all about you know that's as good as life gets stuff will happen and then you die and hopefully if you've done something worthwhile it'll make it just a little bit easier for somebody else as you go along and um, I don't know it's just like you know what if somebody else can write this for me it's time I started writing for me okay this is gonna be amazing <coughs> People who are writing, but not in English. Wild Wolf makes no difference. Please, please join. I will create an Ava Green um, uh, Nino Rhino group. Nino Rhino group. A mini Rhino group. And um, yeah, life stuff is going on. I row. If you don't make 50,000 words, it's not actually a contest. Who cares? If you make 30,000 words, that's 30,000 more than you would have written. Oh my god, how amazing is that, right? This is good. This is really good. Being a good writer is a good editor. Hug your editors and love them. And Rhino, mediocre writing. Writing is, my writing is shit. I can't write, guys, but I am willing to rewrite until it gets better. And if we do the Nino Rhino thing, that month is going to be a whole lot of writing streams. Um, and you're going to see how bad... <laughs> how bad it really 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 is <laughs> okay and then you'll go oh well if she's willing to put that awful crap in public maybe i can write too yeah yeah for sure and this was first draft okay this is absolutely first draft he does have the music this man is is knows music he has studied music for a decade or more and he will be putting you know writing out the music for this and I'm really hoping that we can get a nice recording. Because, oh my God, 
the Misty Mountain song from The Hobbit. Yeah, it's that kind of thing, right? With friends around a table and the candlelight. I would love to have a good recording for this and every fan group friends meet that we have over the winter in Europe. We're just going to play this first and we'll get our beers out and yeah, yeah. Fun fact, beautiful is not an easy word to rhyme. And you did really good. <laughs> the West March song of the most wonderful lady. I spell Kel, it's not me. I wish it were me, but Kel is there. A moat to fill? Did you use a moat to fill? It was a waste of opportunity. <laughs> oh, God. This is beautiful, right? Again, yeah, it's all the little hearts right now. I absolutely agree. This it's amazing and it's like every time every time I've listened I've listened it's like I've read this over and over and over and over and over and I cry like every time you broke Ava repeatedly like repeatedly yeah three by three matrix of hearts yes <laughs> standing ovation yay bravo bravo <laughs> What level bard? Oh, God. What's the max? Because I think he's got some, you know, he's got some feats that give him bonus levels. Like, totally. That was amazing. That was so beautiful. This is a song written about the Kel. K-E-L-L. -L, the tra Kel the Traveler. Who became the first queen of Lechley, which is the lady who started all of the Minecraft stuff in my world. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. So, with that in mind, it's March, guys. West March. What do I don't have a lot written down, and I was not able to find all of it today. Uh, but what do we have? Countries and lore. That's not what I'm looking for. Which one of these? The hymn to Iona. And this was a song he made, and I, I am honestly, I'm sorry, really, really, um, sorry. I don't remember the tune to this today. But there's one. <laughs> All these different versions as I had this one did you guys ever hear of Danny Wallace because <laughs> if you haven't heard of Danny Wallace you need to hear of Danny Wallace you need to go to YouTube right now and search YouTube Danny Wallace um, is the king or something like that what am I looking for yes Lovely's National Anthem is what you're looking for. And I'm going to play it because then the chat that left me be me. <laughs> There's no need to fear us. Stay a while, you'll hear us say. <laughs> We've got to get the world to see. Here we live life happily. With Ava and a kiss for luck, we'll build it beautifully. <laughs> this is amazing, right? I love this tune. Danny Wallace is a comedian in the UK who built his own country in his flat. He had a whole series about it. There were all kinds of things. He made this incredible freaking song that makes me happier than anything in the world. On a bad day, I play this YouTube over again, and I'm happy one more time. So, Raccoon wrote me the words to go with it. <laughs> it's so good. We have a bunch of new followers. <coughs> Alley Cat, Anarchy, uh, Battle Pokken, Pok, 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 Jen, Ken, I am so sorry. I have no idea what that is. And uh, Rice Reese, thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome to a really, really nice community. And if you've come over here from Steiners, you're going to like it here, too. We have a lot of the same people and a lot of the same the same attitudes. You know, got to be happy. So that's good. So, I, and the words to this, of course, um, you know, uh, we've got to get the world to see here we live life happily okay with Bella close at hand she can make the day so grand in friendship patience and respect together we will stand right although the channel may be small it's the nicest of them all a chat that's built on kindness where Essentia is the law. <laughs> here's the song so sorry guys so that's the tune I didn't realize you guys couldn't see this so yesterday she sure made me itchy. These twat chits, Twitch chats had me rather twitchy. Let's not even mention the YouTube's comic section. Everywhere there was despair. <laughs> then I found a lady streaming and a chat that left me beaming. There's no need to fear us. Stay a while you'll hear us say. <laughs> she appears and poop is gone. Um, 
We've got to get the world to see. Here we live life happily with Ava and a kiss for luck. We build it beautifully with Bella close at hand. She can make the day so grand in friendship, patience and respect together. We will stand. And although the channel may be small, it's the nicest of them all. A chat that's built on kindness where essentia is the law. Every member do your part. Be your best and have a heart. Let's plant a few more trees here just to start. <laughs> <laughs> so um community we will weave in decency we believe and anyone can be a steve or sim or kin just not a mod <laughs> elsewhere let the trolls keep trolling here a happy tune is trolling we from every nation join in celebration today okay <laughs> and hakun is going to sing the anthem i'm going to have to dig up the thing again because crap um Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is a anthem for the entire collective government whatever thing of West March, everybody. So I, and I'm sorry, which version? You I have two or three versions, so I have um, I think this is the most recent one. Um God, I Yeah, this one is the one that is about West March. <clears throat> uh, okay, let me see. Because I wrote this Yeah. The district I own a goddess and spirit or builders bold and bright. Yeah. The district. Okay, here it is. I got it. Okay, it starts out with O Builders Bold and Bright. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Here we go. All right. All yours, oh, sweetie. I'm oh, great. This is going to be awesome. Okay. O Builders Bold and Bright, O may you always be inspired, creative, driven, and kind. Hi, oh, na, hi, oh, na. A land of industry. I'm gonna knock it down really okay. quick. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh goddesses and gods, all spirits that abound, wash over our beloved land. I own a high own and keep us safe and sound. Oh rulers of the lands. May friendship never cease, though mobs and monsters ever rage. I own a high own a shall always strive for peace. O oh, few that still remain, those forced to flee the phage, remember those that we have lost. Will prior the district, may time their grief assuage. From ashes we shall rise, a new community, where lives are lived with happiness, our new lives in West March, a land built beautifully. And <laughs> this is so good. And there is more. Uh, the first three versions for mountains and for trees, for sand, the snow, the shore, for endless bounties, yeah. gifts untold. Oh, West March, oh, West March. We thank you evermore. Cool. And then, oh, builders bold and bright, may you always, ins always be inspired, creative, driven, and kind in West March, in West March, a land of industry. So it kind of just goes into, it's sort of like the same song, just into yeah. West March. Yeah, yeah. Just with West March instead of um, Iona, yeah. <laughs> Is he this man amazing or what, right? Is this guy amazing? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Hakun, I just thank you so much. No problem. Ah, uh, these are so beautiful. He, just yeah, you know, and you just kind of go over and over in your head, and just ah, yeah. you get all teary. It's like this is so wonderful. I love this so much. <laughs> but he did it first when it was just for Quillbriar, and then it was like Quillbriar in the district, and then we had the leave the phage, the, the nether phage that made us move into uh, West March, and yeah, did a nice job. He writes these beautiful things for me. I'm so bloody spoiled. Okay, so what I was hoping to get done today, give, you know, you guys have a little bit of a background about West March. These certainly tell you, you know, who we want to be when we grow up and all that sort of thing. Um, I don't know, what do I, what have I got? What have I got? 
I've got a few bits and pieces that I collected here over the day. These are notes. Okay, these are notes that you guys are going to be seeing. You're going to get to see how things actually work in my brain. I apologize for that in advance. Um, how things started out. And this is how I start writing. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and change that and get the properties, select this region, it's here, close enough, that's fine, okay. And yeah, there's good enough, this, did it go? This time it didn't go. I thought I had this all sorted out. I was feeling quite proud of myself and I failed. No, it's not going this time. Oh, I was, I was doing all good. No, I fail. <laughs> Brack. Brack a do. Sorry about that, guys. In here. In here. Here it is. Okay, in this window. Okay, for West March. And I'm hoping the guys in West March, Hakun, you being one of them, Nero, you could certainly have some input in this. You've been around in, in various places. Uh, Rhino lives with us now. Dom, of course, is here. Um, Cherokee was part of the district, so he could have some... And you, a lot of you guys have watched this stuff for so long. You definitely have, you know, you, you speak up if you have ideas and things like that. Um, this is just the name of the sun. This is Ekin. Ekin Ekin is the name of the firstborn son of Kel the Traveler and um, the guy, uh, King Hassan, who was called King Hassan the Beautiful because he was just this this gorgeous, exotic man that everybody fell in love with. Um, pro totally not, you know, a guy of my fantasies or like anything, okay? That's not, no, no, no. Um, Hakun making clicky noises. <laughs> So anyway, three major land masses, and they were, you know, first I opened the Quillbriar uh, server way back when, when I was starting the YouTube, um, the, the YouTube land world that is part of my life now, or my life now. And then later on, we opened the district, and, and I ended up calling it the district land colony because I got to call it DLC. It was a thing. It made me happy. <laughs> It was just a thing. And then because of various technical issues with mods, modding Minecraft does what it does. We ended up having to close Quillbriar and the district. And the people who were playing the most all got moved into West March. Um, so this has become the, the kind of the new thing. So this, the name Leckley actually means Leck is defender of men and Lee was, is, means healer. The, those are what the words mean. And this one country sort of... Quillbriar was a bunch of scattered villages, okay, people warred, they did different things. Kel the Traveler was a healer, she was a gypsy lady who, who knew a lot about herbs and things like that, and she used to just travel and take care of people along the way, and then at one village she met this fellow called Hassan, who was the, the chief's son, they fell in love, she kept going on, and he followed her. So they ended up getting married and they were uniting. They were uniting all these different villages and all these different countries and blah, blah, blah. And um, Snape is a man. Hassan makes me giggle. Well, I like it. <laughs> and, and a guy of my dreams, she said, Neralosa would be Snape. Okay, no argument there. Pretty cool. Um, so anyway, the, they, they founded the first country and kind of by popular demand became the first king and queen of this country called Leckley where he was the defender of people and she was the healer and they called it Leckley. Those are the colors they picked which actually was just because I play the alliance and wow and blue and gold is my thing. So um, their first son was called Ekin. He used to ride a white horse bred from his mom's horse that you just heard about in the song today and after a while you know when he would travel he liked to travel as well um, the kids in the villages would say, the white horse is coming, the white horse is coming. So over time, Ekin actually became known as the white horse of Leckley. He was the first prince. Um, so she caught the fancy of a villager's uh, leader's son, Hassan the Beautiful. He pursued her, learned to be a healer in his own right. And on a full moon, of course, in the spring, their son Ekin was born. And they 
settled in the far south and created the Kingdom of Wekley. Queen Kel, as she became to be known, continued to travel and act as healer and teacher of the scattered centers of civilization. Hassan taught people to build and Ekin taught them to better their methods of farming and how to breed and ride these beautiful horses. More and more villages decided to become part of this country. Uh, Iona is this uh, united set of lands governed over by the Kingdom of Lechley. Uh, Queen Eva eventually allows various countries to rule themselves, but in all matters of conflict or regarding the vast lands of Iona, she is the head of government. So uh, she had a small council of advisors at this time, Duke Craig of Hazelwyn, and that was color slide, of course. Uh, Lord Haig of Ravenstone, the hand of the queen, who is no longer hand of the queen. You know, tragedy happens. He's, I'm not sure how to write that into the story, but he can't be the hand anymore. So the queen's looking for a new hand. And Lady Essentia of Leckley, who is the queen's heir, who is officially, Essentia is officially the white horse of Leckley, defender of lands. That's a thing. So then the Netherphage, how we moved into that. No one knows how the Netherphage began, but we know when. And we didn't know what was happening until it was too late. Whole families, whole villages were found dead. Sometimes we'd find a lucky survivor, or, you know, not so lucky, depending on how you looked at it. Right from the start, a few people were naturally immune to the phage, and all they could do is stand and watch the world fall into dust and ruin. This is not me writing, by the way. This is me making notes about what story I will try to write about. That's, that they're different. So if things are kind of crap, I apologize. This is how I start. In the months that followed, bodies were buried or burned, and busy homes were taken over by moths and spiders. The district where the phage had begun grew quiet with only the rustle of leaves to bring sound to the days. Quillbriar failed somewhat better, perhaps, but in Quillbriar too, it was only a matter of time before a handful of shocked survivors slowly began to wander um, toward the city of Whitehall. A person here, another there, and in time they'd find each other walking alone on the boardwalk or sitting in the empty square. Uh, so few survivors from the district made their way to the city, too, hoping to find more life in Quillbriar uh, than the silent desolation that they had left behind. She was the last to leave her home eventually. Lady Evangeline, too, found herself in Whitehall, gathered with the last of her people. Uh, see you next time, Biowolfos. Thank you for being here, sweetie. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Katie is here. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, the survivors mustered the courage they could, and they sat down in the Great Hall of the White Palace to discuss their future, and they decided to leave. Their empty countries, there was only memories and pain, and not enough people left to even maintain the buildings and the fields and the livestock. They knew they were doomed to watch their soaring towers crumble, fields revert to wilderness, and to walk ever over the graves of all that had been. For weeks, they grieved and talked, unable to face the future. That was me going, I don't want to close Quilbar. But in time, they decided to start anew because that's what people voted on, so we did that. Uh, the port at Whitehall had no shortage of empty ships, and Lady Timber's sleek yacht was chosen as being big enough for the handful of people remaining and small enough to control with the remaining survivors. Supplies restored and the last ceremony was held. Tears flowed fast and hot as each person looked one last time and all they had built and then turned away and stepped aboard the ship. Sails unfurled and the beautiful ship set a course toward the setting sun and the new life in the west. Uh, this is when we opened. This is, was part of the story that was actually in the cathedral, I think, when I opened the Grey Lady Cathedral, guys. Um, and here you stand today. We have new fields planted and our hearth fires are warm. The Kirk, this cathedral, was built to catch the eye of the White Lady as each night as she glides across the sky and to thank her for our very lives and the hope we have for our future. It has been named for the Blessed Grey Lady, the goddess's human representative on Iona. It is our sincere hope that the Grey Lady finds it a worthy home and conveys our gratitude each evening when the moon fills the sky. Look across to the field of hill, across the field to the hill of white trees. When Lady Evangeline left Leckley, she brought with her the cornerstone of the kirk she was building there and laid it here to start anew. On the very day the stone was put into place, I was building, um, side note here, I, in, in Colbriar, I was building the Grey Lady Kirk. So I took a cornerstone from that to bring into our new world. 
uh, the day the stone was put in place, the trees on that hill begin to grow at a rapid rate. It was deemed a sign that the white lady approved. The golden flowers in the field you see in front of us used to follow the sun across the sky each day. But on the day the stone was laid, they turned east to fame, face the kirk, and they have all faced east ever since. Now, instead of the following the sun in its path, they stand ready to greet the white lady each evening as she joins us. So that was the sunflowers that only face east and white in Minecraft, right? So come inside and get the tour. And then we have um, the, all the names that go with, and these all come from some her ladyship, and Lisa Grey Cloak, which was the Grey Lady's official just human name. She's also called the Voice of Tanith, who is a goddess, the High Priestess of Westmarch, Archbishop of Westmoreland, which is spelled wrong, and Lady Anne of Grey Cloak welcomes you to the Cathedral of Grey Lady Kirk. So it was a small, rough hewn frontier kirk, um, and it grown, it just was built into this, the big cathedral that you guys know. But its heart remains always simply the Grey Lady Kirk, a place of welcome, solace, and hope for our new world. May you follow the Grey Lady throughout your life, and may Tanith light your way in the dark places of Iona. Tanith is the name of the moon. Uh, the White Lady is named Tanith. So, do, do, do.